everybody. Aaron Blaze here. Welcome to our Friday stream, day after Thanksgiving here in the United States. I hope everybody's a little bit fatter, a little bit happier. I know I am. I don't have much room to get much fatter. but I'm sure a lot of folks are using some uh, exercise to run through the stores. Black Friday. <laughs> it's Black Friday, everybody. We got a real treat for you today. So a few days ago, back on Wednesday, Procreate's new animation app, Dreams, dropped. And uh, people have been getting it all over the place like crazy. And yeah, we've had it. I've seen lots of stuff in the feed of people already creating it. Yeah, and... yeah. And we've actually had it. For those of you that don't know, Procreate came to us back in January, around January, February, and asked us if we would do a little piece of animation in this new app that they were developing so that by the time the app came out, we would have this finished piece that they could promote the, the software with. Well, obviously, we didn't want to turn down that opportunity, and we jumped on it. And so uh, we love the name Dreams, which is the app, and uh, Procreate is located in Tasmania, of all really cool places. Oh, getting a little lag. I'm going to... And so um, I used those two inspirations and, and I discovered that Procreate uh, is home to the world's smallest penguin. And so I took the idea of dreams, the idea of this little penguin, and I thought, okay, a penguin that dreams he can fly. So we created this little short uh, about a little penguin wanting to fly. And so that came out really well. We were really happy with it. We did it all in dreams. Um, and we were doing it actually uh, when it was still in beta. It was still being developed. Um, and uh, so we, we clunked along a little bit here and there. A lot of parts weren't working yet, that sort of thing. But, um, but it's, it, it came out great. We're very happy with it. And I thought today uh, might be kind of fun to take you through um, and we'll just do a little demo using Dreams. Uh, for those of you that have it, uh, this might help you out a little. Um, I'm a frame-by-frame -frame animator, so that's what I'm going to demonstrate today. And that's one day. And we've got a whole bunch of cool things going on over on our website. I'm going to hand it over to Nick and Dustin to let you know what we've got going on. Yes. Hey. Yes, right now we're getting a little bit of a lag going on, so I'm working on that. Be patient with us, everybody who's watching. We're working away on it. Uh, just went ahead and hardwired here, so hopefully that'll resolve that situation. And yeah, we've got so many sales going on. More sales than you can shake a stick at, actually. Uh, there is got... quite a lot. What's that? There is quite a lot. There is quite a lot. So first off, our big big sale is we've got our memberships, our buy one, get one on our annual plans. That gets you over 700 hours of all sorts of art and animation lessons, all the brushes, all the photo packs, plus everything we release over the next 12 months. It's already $75 off for a membership for an individual. But now if you buy one, you can get one for free to send as a gift to, some, to someone else. So we've got that deal going on. That's our the best value in art education. Uh, we've got, but the bit, other big news is we've got two brand new courses. Speaking of Procreate Dreams, if you go over to CreatureArtTeacher.com, you can pre-order Aaron's brand new course on Procreate Dreams. We just finished shooting that, actually. We just finished shooting it. We're editing editing it now. That is only $1. One dollar $1 pre-order? Yep, a one dollar pre-order for a limited time. That course should be out by next Friday, is what we're we're, we're shooting for. And if that's... we get courses done, we might even release them early as we go. Yes, as we go. That's a huge deal. Also, there's a brand new class from Dave Clayton, all about Adobe for artists. So he covers Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. So if you're an artist that you know, maybe an illustrator, or an animator that's not as familiar as with the world of graphic design. This is the course for you. It's super cool. <clears throat> he covers how to create your own fonts. He covers how to do book layout. Yeah. Uh, layout for business cards and brochures. That's the one that really excites me is that InDesign part of it as well, is that you know you can design your own art book and yeah. uh, promotional materials. A lot of people sort of are thing. afraid of the pen tool and Illustrator and he yeah. explains tips and techniques on how to use that. It's a, it's super a really cool. cool, really cool course. And if anybody's been following along on our pre previous live streams, you know that Aaron drew 100 Disney characters for the 100th birthday of the Walt Disney Company. Well, you know, we thought we would go ahead and put something special out. So what we've gone ahead is we have created a limited edition print, signed and numbered. There are only 100 copies of these. 
So if you go to creatureartteacher.com slash prints, it's first come, first serve. Our email blast just went out a few minutes ago announcing this, and I see that there are already some sales have come in for it. So if you're interested at all, get it while you can. Guess who got the first one? Erica Bay. Erica Bay. Good for her. <laughs> of course. Yes, baby. I and, love it. And we've also got a limited edition puzzle with that same image. Only 50 of that are being made. You go to creatureartteacher.com slash puzzles. And then finally, because I want to get into drawing and animating and not boring people, the last thing I'll mention right now is today we put up a guaranteed signed copy of the 100 Drawings book. Uh, Aaron's Art of Volume 2 is shipping to us in about a week or so. We, we just got word from the printer that we're yes. going to get in hand. So for those of you that have been wondering where the heck is that book, it's uh, being shipped uh, just to in a us. few weeks to us. Yeah, yeah and we're being ship shipped to us, sorry, uh, in just a couple of weeks, and then we'll be getting it out to everyone else. We'll be getting it out post haste but in the meantime we've got to clear some space which means i've got to get rid of these hundred drawings books so if you go to creatureartteacher.com slash books there's now an option to get a guaranteed signed copy and that book is getting low on print so aaron i'm going to kick it back over to you and we'll hit some more of the uh sales and stuff later Sounds all good. right so let's go to the down shooter if we're not already there yep, and uh so here we got my ipad and uh, I've got my dream set up right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. So here you'll see I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I've already uh, created and put into the gallery area of, or what's it, what do they call it? This isn't the gallery. What is this one called? They call it the gallery in, in Procreate, but in Dreams. The theater. It's the theater. That's right. They've got their own terms for, their, for the different um, uh, apps. So um, I'm going to create a new... Uh, I thought it might be fun to just take our little penguin character. And actually, let me go ahead and uh, I want to open that up. Let me see where we are. Let's open this up right here. And so one of the, this is our actual short. This is what we created. And I wanted to show you right here. Here's the timeline. I've got all my shots grouped into different uh, groups. Each shot has its own group. And then I can go in here, click on this group, and open this up. With three fingers, I can open this up, widen the... the, the uh, the timeline and you can see all the drawings right here uh, i've got color underneath i've got the background back here i've got the clouds and then i've got the blue sky these are all separate elements so that i can manipulate them all on their own i put a little blur on the uh, on here you can see moving scrubbing through i've got a little blur on the on the uh the grasses back there and on the clouds themselves you'll see there's a little bit of a drift they're blowing in the wind all right and I, I, I put the blur on both of them to push them back to uh, give them a little distance. The answer is blowing in the wind. Yes, it is. So there you go. So there's that. So you can group all your shots together. Then down here, we've got some audio. That's our score done by the amazing Max Mueller. And so if I think, uh, do, do use four fingers and tap on the whole thing, it opens up and gives me the theater or, or a movie screen and I can hit play. And there we go. So let me jump back really quick. And I'm just going to play this from the beginning. If I pinch really fast, it'll compress the entire timeline. I can open it up like so. Scrub to the beginning. And let's go ahead and watch our film. Yeah. 
there you go. So there is our little short that we did. All of that was done in dreams. It was all done in this little software, this little app that is huge. That's, it, it's amazing to me. Zanji has a question on Facebook about that. He wants to know, how did you do the Foley and sound design for this? We, uh, we began, we're a member of Epidemic. Epidemic Sound. And so we didn't do any Foley work on this. I actually pulled sound from our membership at Epidemic Sound. It's a great resource for sound effects. And so I pulled it from there, downloaded each individual little, the sound of waves, the sound of footfalls, walking through the grass, the sound of wind, uh, whooshing sounds, all of those different little sound effects that you hear. I just downloaded them, laid them out on the timeline, then I'm able to adjust their levels. Now, at the time, uh, we didn't have that ability uh, that you like you do now to adjust on, uh, on the timeline of uh, sound. And so I, I composited everything in Premiere, but you can do the whole thing now right here. And that's why we have the, uh, the, the, the two soundtracks right here. Then the music itself was, was done the same way. I laid the music down and then I would bring the music up or down in places where I wanted it to be pushed back or being brought to the front. And so the whole thing was, was uh, kind of mixed right there. And so, and you, like I said, you still have, you have that ability to do that here in this app now. But let's go ahead and go back to the theater. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus sign. And this is going to give me an option to create a new uh, file. Now, within here, uh, you're going to see different options for uh, different formats. And I'm going to go for the 4K widescreen. I'm going to go ahead and click draw. And it's going to give me, boom, I'm all set to just start drawing right now. You're going to see there's a timeline down below. It's already set to draw, which is this little squiggly line is highlighted. Now, I've got a whole bunch of brushes up here that I can click on. Right there, just like in Procreate. If you're familiar with Procreate, it's got a nice library of uh, brushes from sketching to inking, drawing, painting, all kinds of different things. So the one thing about their brushes now is that you can't really adjust them. So if you, uh, you know, that's going to be in updates coming up. But right now, I, th there's enough brushes, I think, that, you know, there's plenty and, to choose from. And the workaround for that, by the way, is you can adjust the brush <clears throat> to your heart content in Procreate. And, and then bring it over. And drop that brush. Exactly. <clears throat> and it'll be dialed in there. So. so, right off the bat, I want to start drawing, and I want to draw this little penguin. I could draw in this window up here, but that's kind of small. So, what I can do here is grab hold of this tab, pull it down, and now I'm in flipbook mode, and I've got the entire screen to draw on. And right here, I can click here, and now I can show the onion skin, and I can edit the onion skin so that when I start drawing, I can see the drawing before and the drawing after. Jeez. I'm going to pull this back to two, and uh, I'm going to click blue for the, for the uh, views backwards. Click on forward, I'm going to bring that back to two, and I'm going to make that one red. So now, and I'm going to probably pull that back to about 50% and pull that back to about 50%. There we are. So now I've got my onion skin all set just the way I like it. I can click on the window and now I'm just going to start drawing. And like I said, I want to draw this little penguin. I thought maybe we would just draw a walk cycle. Uh, Quentin Peterson says, hi, I discovered you from cinema therapy. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's been really popular, that video. <clears throat> Let us know in the comments if uh, you also found us through the Cinema Therapy video. And uh, Mackenzie Summers on YouTube says, uh, I got the I got a Disney 100 print by Aaron Blaze. Super cool. So you, here you can see I can be nice and rough, and it's just pinching. I can pinch and open up to make it bigger, to make it smaller. Kim asks, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. Each. Uh, are there 4K iPads? Uh, the iPad you're using is 4K, isn't it? Yes. And uh, we also have a couple of folks that are interested in the uh, the stand that your that your iPad's in. Oh yeah, I got this off of uh, Amazon. I think it was about 40 bucks, 50 bucks, something like that. And you can it can lift up, sit at a, at a nice angle if you want. Erasers up here, so I can click on that. 
uh juan torres uh, garcia on uh facebook asks uh do you have a course dedicated to backgrounds exclusively i mean not just how to draw backgrounds but how to work with them like panning zooming etc in our animations we are working on one right now with armand serrano yes it's not ready yet the equipment is with armand so that should be a course coming out early next year. Uh, can you draw and hold to create a perfect shape like Procreate? I think it meant in Procreate. You mean no. like smoothing? It's got like, yeah, you can do like a... They do have brushes that are set for smoothing. Yeah, but it's not it's not what they're talking about. I know, about. I, yeah, because yeah. it makes a perfect circle. or yeah. No, it doesn't do that. Yeah, they have brushes no, that have smoothing. But you got to draw. Yep. Again, uh, one thing you can do, though, is you can draw anything you want, put it in the split in Procreate, put it in the split screen view on the iPad, and then drag and drop that over as a layer. You can. Ah, so All right. On Twitch says, this is my first live stream. Glad to be here. Hey, glad to have you. Uh, art enthusiast on YouTube asks, uh, how do you use select tool in Procreate Dreams? Um, uh, like there's, a lasso, not a, there's not a there's not a lasso select tool yet. They've said that it's coming in a very early update. <clears throat> um, I believe they've got a uh, update. I, I don't quote me on this, but <clears throat> my understanding is is they've got an update with some new features coming out before Christmas. <laughs> Okay, so what I want to show you, what I just did, I clicked on uh, I, the my drawing that I'm on on the on the flip book, and I created a new one in front. So uh, I'm going to go straight ahead, and what I want to do, I'm actually not animating straight ahead. I'm going to be animating pose to pose, and what I want to do right now, this is one of my keys. So this is where uh, he's going to be walking across the screen, and so this is the down shot of, with his left foot forward. Now I'm going to do the same sh uh, same drawing or same pose but the right foot forward so i'm going to say have the same silhouette but we're going to reverse it and i'll show you what i mean this is a little bit of a cheat we can do i'm going to have his head in the same position well Sion says hey aaron i got your me membership i'm very excited to start i'm pretty basic at this point will i be able to keep up with your courses yes you will be able to keep up with your courses my courses because you can go at your own rate. Start, stop, do whatever you want. Can and you, as it, a member, you'll be able to download them. So you'll keep a library. You. Yep. Uh, can gonna... you import all your br uh, Procreate drop, uh, brushes? And does it work with ABR2? Yes, as far as I know. What was your question, Dustin? Sorry. Does it work uh, about the... Uh, being able to can import you import the brushes the brushes as well as photoshop brushes into procreate dream yes it'll it'll support any brushes that procreate supports you just don't have the the brush engine which is for dialing in the brushes and all that but you can bring in brushes. <clears throat> but once again i want to reiterate that you know the brushes that are here are pretty darn good and you know it's really not the special brush that makes everything great it's the Actually, I gotta come around here. It's what you do with that brush. Martin is on Facebook. Martin says, "Hope you had a great Thanksgiving yesterday." We did. Yeah, I feel like I gained five, <clears throat> five, ten pounds from yesterday. Yeah, we had a lot of food. Turkey, homemade mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes stuffings a frame by frame our frame boy frame on uh twitch asks what do you think are the milestones for knowing you're getting better at animation i think it's 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 seeing it's seeing believability and a natural it's when your characters start feeling natural not mechanical um when your characters start coming alive you know when they're living breathing characters thinking that's the big thing. When you can see your characters thinking, then I think you're getting better. Quiet on thinking. Yes. So here you can see I've used the same silhouette, but I've just reversed his pose. If I click back and forth on the uh, on the uh, 
flipbook, you can see he's just flipping back and forth between the right foot forward and the, and the left foot forward. Okay. Now we want to create another key in between each one of these keys. So I'm going to go back to the beginning, click on that, hit the plus sign, and now I can create a new key in between. Which is essentially going to answer the question <clears throat> that someone just asked, which is how do you add breakdowns? So you go back to the previous and hit the plus, right? Exactly. And, and we can also <clears throat> uh, change timing on the, on the timeline, but we, uh, I'm going to get back to that in just a minute. So Aaron's process is he does all of his drawings first, and then he works out the timing. Generally. Yes, generally. Which is how a lot of old school animators do it. Cheyenne wants to know if I or uh, if I get Procreate Dreams, I can do illustration, sketching, and animation. Why would I need Procreate? <clears throat> well, they are keeping some of the drawing tools exclusive to Procreate. I can tell you that. Yeah, and as far as you know, all the bells and whistles that Procreate can do as uh, in the illustration side of things, uh, it doesn't quite do everything in Dreams. So my suggestion would be get both. Yeah, what I was what I was doing. When we did uh, the animated short that you just saw, I did all of my backgrounds in Procreate and then brought them over into Dreams. Into Dreams. Martin says, Aaron needs a bigger iPad now, at least 111 inches. Exactly. <laughs> Ziggy Simpson says, wait a minute. You can do rough animation in this app? That's what it's all about. This app is all about rough animation. And uh, Raven with the knife says, what about lip syncing? Uh, how do you sync up to that audio? So what you do is you'll bring in the audio on its own timeline and it gives you a waveform and you can scrub back and forth and you can mark where your, your sounds are. So you'll be able to hear if a character is talking, if let's say a character is saying hello, you'll be able to hear on what frame that H is hitting, the L's are hitting, the O's are hitting, and that's how you'll get lip sync. I want to let people know who are just joining us. We've got a bunch of Black Friday sales going over on, on over at PreacherArtTeacher.com. <clears throat> in addition to the sales I mentioned earlier, which I'm going to hit again here in a moment, everything on the website, all of the courses are 50% off or more. So some of them are up to 90% off. Uh, all That's of our, crazy. <clears throat> all of our bundles are 75% off. So you can get all of Tony Cipriano ZBrush's courses for 75% off when you get them as a bundle, or you can get Ken Spurduso's two courses on, on drawing portraits and oil painting for 75% off. Plus we've got a bunch of courses that are only $5 each, like Jenny Medved's watercolor painting course, um, Aaron's traditional Procreate drawing course is only $5, your how to paint light course is $5, and those that's an all time low price on that course. All at creatureartteacher.com. And then, of course, the big news is we've got two new courses out today. Well, out available for sale today. <clears throat> Dave Clayton's course on the Adobe Suite for Artists is out now. You can get that now. It's 50% off. He covers InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop. And you can also pre-order Aaron's Procreate Dreams course for only $1. And that comes out next week. Uh, what is Procreate Dreams? Is it something different? Yes, it is a standalone program. It's a, sta it's a standalone animation app made specifically for 2D animation. You can do <clears throat> keyframe animation. You can do frame-by-frame -frame animation. All kinds of fun stuff. Martin says jokingly, if there's one thing I don't like about the membership, it's that I can't take advantage of all these great deals on courses anymore because they're all included. <laughs> Speaking of which, our membership is buy one, get one free right now. And psst, if you cheat, you can send it to yourself a year from now. <laughs> we may have built in a loophole to allow for that. You didn't hear it from me. Chris Smith asks, uh, do you still have the twice a week uh, stream showing the making of Snow Bear? Uh, I do it. We sure do. We do that. Yes, we do. So once again, just like I did on the drawings on the keys that I started with, 
I'm creating, <clears throat> tracing off the same silhouette, but reversing the positions of the feet. Brian wants to know, did it take a while to get used to not being able to flip the drawings as easily as you can in TV paint <clears throat> while drawing the breakdowns and in-betweens? Uh, it's actually just as easy because you can flip right here in the flip book. You flip with the arrow keys when you're doing TV. I do. And, and, and if I have uh, drawings right next to each other, then it's easy to flip. In, in TV paint and, and you can set it up to flip just the keys, but right now I've got it set. Uh, I usually just have it set to flip frame by frame. And so if I have drawings that are held for more than a set, you know, several frames, then it's harder to flip with the, uh, with the, um, key with the arrow keys. And I usually just go to the timeline and scrub. <clears throat> Twitch question or comment rather. Hey, Aaron, I just watched the Cinema Therapy video a couple days ago, just a few hours after it was released. It brought tears to my eyes, just like the movie itself has done for so many years. Talk about needing therapy, LOL. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, where is the onion skin? The onion skin? The controls are right here. There's a little time code right here. If you click on that, uh, I can edit the onion skin. It gives me all kinds of controls in here. And then I, and I can turn it off like that, or I can turn it back on. There we go. And there's the onion skin. Can, uh, we, can we add text in Dreams like Procreate? Yes, there is a text tool on it, right? Yes, there I is. About to ask that, that I haven't used, um, but there is. I do know that. We should show them the little... Um, live video thing we did for the course with the cup. Oh yeah. Let me just get through this and then we'll we'll show them. How is the uh Brother Bear anniversary panel at CTN? And was it recorded to possibly watch later? It wasn't recorded, uh but it was a lot of fun. It was great. It was so nice to see, you know, some of those faces I hadn't seen in 20 years. So it was really wonderful to see them again. All right, so now we've basically got our keys. Let me go to the timeline right now. And so what you're going to see are four drawings on the timeline. I can shrink this up. I can use three fingers to open it up, three fingers to compress. I can use them uh, vertically uh, and uh going up and down to shrink it uh, vertically, uh, or I can go left to right and shrink it or expand it horizontally. So what I'm going to do is keep adding drawings in between, but here when I scrub back and forth, you can see that we've got one stride. Very, very quick. Now we've got to add our breakdowns to get the overlap and all that kind of stuff, but at least now we have a nice little penguin there. All right, so we've got the start of something. Let's go back into our drawing mode. Actually, real quick, I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to go back into the theater, and it automatically saves. That's another cool thing. But this is what Nick was talking about earlier. You can also, you can bring in a live action. Uh, we just shot this with our camera, uh, with our phone, and uh, saved it, and then brought this in as a little video. And then we animated this little guy right here. Come on, come on out. So you can animate over live action too. I did this in about 45 minutes. This is just a quick demo on our, uh, on our, our new come course on, coming come out. out. We wanted to show how you can animate in, over live action. If we had actually sat down and taken some time, there's no nothing to stop us from creating like Roger Rabbit effects and that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, that was all done in 45 minutes. It blew me away. Come on, come on out. So it was a lot of fun. So there's that. And someone's asking again, what's the name of that iPad stand again that you're using? I can't remember what they're called. Oh, oh uh, uh, Afuyo. A-F-O-O-Y-O. A-F-O-O-Y-O. And correct. you got it on Amazon, correct? I did. And it was pretty affordable, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like $45, 50 bucks, something like that. 
All right, uh, so now, once again, I'm going to go back to the head, to the beginning, the first drawing, and I want to add in-betweens. So if I want to add an in-between between the drawing, uh, between this drawing and the next one going up, I just click on it, hit the plus sign, and now I've got a blank drawing in between. Looks like the stream is freezing, but it doesn't appear so for me. It, I was seeing it um, freezing up quite a bit, but it's not, it's not going so bad anymore. It looked like it was seizing up a little bit when you were showing the uh, the the video. Hmm. Oh, maybe it was just the bandwidth. Mayhaps. Uh, Nove on uh, YouTube says, I found out from the cinema therapy video that the scene where Kenai tells the truth to Coda about his mother was originally scripted to be a bit darker. Could you tell us more about it? Yes, so we actually had the entire confession from Kenai to Coda entirely scripted. He'd sat him down and he tells the whole thing, and Coda is just, it's devastating. It's really hard to get through. And so we thought, you know what, it might be better played from a distance and just kind of pull push in when we are hitting key moments in the conversation and let Phil Collins, who is so great emotionally, with his songs, let Phil fill the gaps, basically, uh, and carry it in song. And so that's what we did. And I think it turned out to be even more emotional. And um, it was something that we really felt strongly about. And I, um, I remember when we were sitting there talking about it, the whole idea of doing this rotating camera around them popped into my head. And so I, I instantly went back to my desk and boarded it in, in just a couple of hours and roughed it out and showed it to the guys, my co-directors, um, or co-director Bob Walker and, and producer Chuck Williams, and uh, they dug it. And so I, uh, we went ahead and, and ran with it. And so that's how it ended up in the movie. And Phil wrote a song for it. Uh, how do you set set up your flipbook to be where where it's placed on the uh, on your screen? Like, how do you move that around? You literally just grab it. You can move it anywhere you want. I just like to have it in the upper right hand corner. Uh, can you increase the opacity of the onion skin? It's so light. I think maybe for the oh no, because I can't. It it gets distracting. But yes, it is adjustable. Yes, it is adjustable. I can edit it right here, and I can push that, and I can push that. But it gets really distracting as an animator, so I'm pulling it back. <clears throat> okay, the first part of this question I understand and have an answer to. The second part I don't. <clears throat> the question is, do you wish Procreate Dreams had onion skinning so that you could see the next drawing, not just the next frame, and also a light table? I don't know what you mean by light table, because isn't that what an onion skin is? Yeah, that's what, that's, what, that's what onion skin is replacing. And the onion skin, I think, works great. I, there are a lot of people that are saying it'd be nice if you could flip to the draw. Now, they've already come out and said this. They, uh, Procreate actually posted this the other day. They're working on that feature yeah. to be able to switch between frames or drawings. So I just, I don't have that problem. I, it's not a feature that, that <clears throat> slowed well, me down. Well, because what you're doing, see what Aaron does is does all his drawings. Yeah, then, I, the then other, I adjust my timing. And then but even then, if I, if I decide I want to put another drawing in between, you can set your onion skin far enough out that, you know, uh, you can get to the next drawing. There we go. The bottom of the screen is cutting off a little on me, not on you. Am I getting in the way of the camera? Oh, I'm not, right? Oh, speaking of, um... so I can, I can click back and forth. You can see that action starting to come up. Erica is asking, uh, "Can you move the image?" I already did it, Erica. Oh. Dustin. Yep. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Okay. Now we're up here. I want to go ahead and add an in-between coming down. 
So now his, his head's going to drag. So we're going to see this up and down kind of dragging motion to the head, this overlapping motion. Uh, Shane uh, Nosrati on uh, YouTube asks, uh, which brush are you using right now? I'm using the Derwent pencil right here. Derwent? Sketching Derwent. I like the feel of that. It feels like a pencil to me. I've got it at 100% opacity and 100% size. So you can see on this drawing, I have his head kind of up in the air, or the beak up in the air as it's dragging. And uh, Martin on Facebook asks, how would you compare Calipeg to Procreate Dreams? I've never used, I don't use Calipeg. We used to have a Calipeg course on our site, but my brother, Travis Blaze, uh, was using Calipeg, and so he did the course. I was using, uh, I wasn't doing much animation on, on uh, iPad. I was using TV Paint. Is there any lag when drawing on the iPad? Not at all. I have zero lag. You chose a good mammal for this demo. It's a comment. A good mammal? Mm hmm Okay. It's a bird. <laughs> What's the uh, what <laughs> model of I iPad is that? What's that? What model of iPad is that? I don't know. What model is this? Nick? This happens to be the newest iPad Pro. So it's the M1 or whatever. Yeah. Whatever we got, the latest model is. We just got this one recently. <clears throat> So here I want the foot to flip up. Kind of I want his feet to feel floppy. See that foot flipping around. How long did the beautiful promo penguin video uh, take you to make and how long was the production pipeline? It took about 12 weeks to make it and the pipeline was just it was no. me i did the i did all the backgrounds and then i did the animation and then um after a while i was running behind so i kept moving forward with the animation and backgrounds and then claudia bourbon who works with us and nick uh started taking over doing the character color and because my drawing style is fairly rough uh, and i don't close off a lot of lines uh, we had to paint everything you couldn't just drop and fill because it would leak everywhere and so that was uh you know part of our process here i'm going to have the wing kind of drag a little bit too here's a question hey aaron i was watching brother bear recently with my family and upon finishing it we went to watch disney's brave <clears throat> <laughs> I was watching it, and to my surprise, certain scenes seemed exactly the same as in Brother Bear. If I'm not mistaken, there was even certain dialogue exactly the same. Have you ever noticed that? Oh, yes, and I wasn't allowed to talk about it <laughs> because John Lasseter was in charge of making Brave after the fact, and they just felt like it was a much better movie, so no one was going to know the difference. She just read so it. that's how it was left. I actually just read an article yesterday. It was... Joaquin Phoenix's highest grossing movies, according to Adjusted for Inflation. Brother Bear is number four or five. <laughs> there you wow. go. Number one is Joker because it made over a billion dollars. Number yeah. two is Gladiator. Gladiator, yeah. And then, like, number three is a big, huge movie. I mean, you're in the top five. Yeah. So. And speaking of Joaquin, uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, Napoleon. Yeah, it's got, like, 61%, so that's kind of you know middle of the road reviews but i still want to see it <laughs> so there we've got one stride or one step right here kind of coming up foot dragging a little bit flipping around and the head <clears throat> drag drag up and then overlap coming down can you do cell shading on the same timeline with different layers, or do you need to do it on different timelines? You can do different layers in the upper right, so you could actually have your color. Yes, you can do all that on the same. I like to keep them on separate timelines. Yeah. 
but you can do all the different layers all in the same mm. timeline. If you tap little squares up at the top, you can show people that there's layers. Yeah, right here. There's layers yeah, right so here. So can... I can add layers in the drawing. Yeah. Yep. Has Aaron ever been to the Antarctic and does he want to go? Yes, I would love to go to the Antarctic and no, I've never been. All right, so let's get to the next drawing. Boop, there he is. And now we're going to come back up again. <clears throat> How is your workflow in your animation style compared to that of, say, Japanese animation or anime? Oh, interesting. Um, it's probably not that much different other than... Uh, I probably end up doing a few more drawings. Uh, anime tends to use more, uh, you Twos, know, threes and fours, fours and sixes and yeah, mm -hmm. that sort of thing to save on drawings. Uh, but other than that, it's basically the same kind of workflow. And that's largely a feature of budget, right? Because, yes. you know, the more drawings you do, the more expensive it is to make. <clears throat> and, and I would, yeah, if we were... If we were financing our own project right now, we would probably end up doing the same thing. But the, as far as on paper goes, <clears throat> when Aaron animated on paper, I thought this was interesting. Someone told us that in, in anime studios, they tend to do top peg yeah. flipping, whereas at Disney... You do I forgot about peg. that. Yeah. And I, I still, to this day, I don't understand how they do top pegging. Because you can't see what you're flipping, right? Well, you can flip, you can see it underneath, but you can't flip you can't flip a whole bunch of drawings. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Twitch question. <clears throat> Did you ever watch the movie uh, Surf's Up about surfing penguins? If so, what did you think about it? It's, it's one of my one. favorite. It's one of my favorite animated movies. Well, this person said it's also one of their favorites. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it, I think it's genius. And uh, the performances with Shia LaBeouf and, and, uh, and uh, Jeff... Jeff, uh, what's his name? It was amazing. Uh, YouTube question. Do you think the way that the line quality gets more blurry when you are zoomed far out is an issue in animation? The advice of Procreate thus far is to zoom in as far as you possible when drawn. I haven't had that issue. When we zoom way out, I, it, it looks fine. And when it... You know, you're, you're going to lose resolution because it's already set when you zoom way in. But I'm not sure about the blurry thing that they're talking about. You tend I, to zoom in when you're drawing anyway. Yeah, but... I yeah. need to see an example of the problem. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the problem is. We didn't run into it in our 12 weeks of animation in terms of... I'm finding a lot of people complaining about things that I just, I, I don't deal, I don't pro have problems with, like the lasso tool and things like that, because I am, um, I just redraw stuff. Are you planning on seeing Wish? I saw that Little Coda is in the end credits. Yes, Little Coda is in the end credits. Wait, what? Yeah. Coda? Oh, Wish. I thought you were talking about the uh, Once Upon a no, they're saying Studio. Coda's Wish. Oh, cool. Really? <clears throat> Having a little problem with the software right now. They're... I think it's. I'm going to do they're this. Us. Close out of it and open it back up. Yeah. Lewis says, Merry Christmas, Aaron. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You're a couple weeks early, but we appreciate it. <laughs> there we go. And our website has a um, has an app on Apple, correct? Like uh, iPhones, iPad. Sorry, say that again, Dustin. Our website has a <coughs> um, has a has an app, right? Correct. Yeah, we have an Apple app that works on iOS, so iPhones, iPads, and also Apple TV. <laughs> and we are very close on the android version my pencil so, stopped working again so i've done just I for, I for a little bit i thought it was the app but every once in a while my pencil just stops working and uh yep there we go now it's back i have to like put it on the gotta put it on the uh 
the charger for a second for it to uh, uh, Josh asked, I apologize, you may have answered this, but when does the Animate in, in Procreate course go live on Creature Art Teacher? That will be up next week, uh, by Friday at the latest. We might We're even, hoping for Monday. Yeah, we might have put up courses as they become available. Dustin will be working on it full-time this weekend. Yeesh. Might, have, might even have to... Uh... Work during the during the night at a couple of them. Someone else says that glitch happens to them sometimes with the pencil too. Yeah, it's just it's kind of a weird glitch. Mustafa says, just... "I think your pencil needs to recharge." And no, it's not. No, that. it's fully charged. That's the thing. It's got like eighty yeah. percent charge on it. Ah, check the tip. Sometimes it gets loose. It says. Oh, right, right now, no, it's at two percent. For some reason, it 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 died. Oh, weird. Yeah. Oh, your pencil just died. Yeah, I had it sitting on the side here. Maybe uh, it. It was only for a day. So, you know what? While we let that charge, yeah, let's talk about some sales. Over let's do some charge. sales. So we've got uh, buy one, get one on annual memberships. That's uh, for $174. You get two memberships, and that gets you over 700 hours of art and animation courses, all of our brushes, all of our artist reference photo packs. But not just for you. You get that as for you, and you can give one as a gift to, some, to someone else or... Go on and split it with a friend. That's one way to do it. <clears throat> this is your last weekend to get Aaron's character design course for only $1. That's been $1 for quite a while. And that is going away. Cyber Monday is our last day on that. So get it this weekend while you can. A lot of you have taken advantage of it. There's still time. Hurry up. Get it while you can. Speaking of a dollar course, <clears throat> we've got... Aaron's new Procreate Dreams course is up for pre-order starting today, and that's only a dollar, one buck. And that gets you uh, several hours of, if you like what he's doing today, it goes way more in depth. And also we break down the Penguin piece shot by shot and explain how we did it. We've also got a brand new course from Dave Clayton out today where he takes you through Adobe InDesign, Adobe Photoshop, and Illustrator. His uh, He's a graphic designer by trade, years and years of experience in book layout, graphic design, logo design, product and packaging. And so his approach to this course was, let me explain how to use these tools to illustrators and artists that might not be familiar with them. Uh, if you've got a graphic design background, you might already know a lot of this, but if you don't and you find those tools intimidating, this is a great, great course for you. Also, uh, right now, we put up today for Black Friday signed copies of Aaron's 100 Drawings book. You can get that guaranteed signed if you go to creatureartteacher.com slash books, and you'll see there's an option now for a signed copy. And then finally, uh, for right now, we've got a new limited edition puzzle available if you go to creatureartteacher.com slash puzzle, and there's only 50 of those available. Check it out. How you looking, Aaron? We're at 11%, so I'll just keep... Putting it on as I need to put it on there, and sorry about that, guys. For for whatever reason, it just didn't get charged overnight. Steph says, "Hi, Art Dad." Hey, how you doing? Howdy, howdy. How's it going, E? How's it going to your bud? Do you miss the mess you get to make? Linda asks when doing digital art from traditional art. Do I miss the mess? Um, Getting your hands dirty. Basically. Yeah, I, I, not so much. It's not. Uh, you know, when I get I, I get into a traditional art a fair amount already, so it's not too bad. So I don't I, I get messy plenty. So what I need to do now is I need to create another uh, go to the timeline and I want to come here and I want to copy. So if I do a long hold on that frame and hit copy, I can come back over here and I can go long hold and paste. And now I've got, I can loop back into the same drawing right here. And that's what I want to do now. So I want to in between from here down into this drawing. Okay. Because so you can see we've got this walk happening as I scrub. So I'm going to go back into my drawing mode, pull the tab down, go into flipbook mode. And there is my last drawing. So I'm going to click on here, hit plus, and now I can go in and create a new in between.
And every few minutes, I'm probably going to have to charge this pencil, which won't be too bad. So I'm using the onion skin to really see, and the flip book, to see my animation. I have his body coming around. The wings are kind of dragging around. Uh, Jay, the concept on YouTube asks, is Procreate Dreams a better or more simple way to animate than, let's say, other Adobe animation softwares? Yes. It's specifically for keyframe, frame-by-frame animation, whereas other Adobe softwares aren't quite set up that way. This to me is just like the way I used to do it on paper, except it's digital. <clears throat> Alan asks question, in order to do a successful silhouette, would it be fair to say that any present foreshortening should not obscure the clarity of the overall message of the action within the pose? I have no idea what you just asked. You're doing silhouette, you need to, and you've got something that's foreshortening, you're trying to make clear silhouette. Yeah. So... It oh, I'll break it out of the I'll break it out of the silhouette silhouette yeah. of the main body. Yeah, that's if I can. If sometimes you just can't. It, it the whole idea is to have it coming right at at your eye, but whenever I can, I'll break it out of the the main body of the silhouette. Yes. Sorry about that. I just there was a lot of words. Do you think copying other animation animators' frames is a good way to start learning animation? I think it is because in, in the same way that we copy old masters paintings to learn how to paint, um, you're going to go through the thinking process. You're going to see what they did. You're going to see what some of these effects do um, by dragging or stretching or whatever it might be. And you'll see, you know, directly firsthand how that works. So yeah, go ahead and try that and, and, uh, and then try to take the, the idea of what that animator was doing and apply it to your own animation. Uh, Brian asks, I feel like this is a great program to storyboard and perhaps create an animatic with. Did you board the Penguin short or did you go right into production? I storyboarded it, but I, at the time, um, the, software I, didn't exist the software didn't exist yet. So I storyboarded it in Photoshop, got the storyboards bought off on, and then, laid those in the dreams. then I laid those in the dreams. Exactly. I'm going to change this a little bit. change a couple things here Renola uh, Dominguez says hello everyone good to be here and working along as I watch and listen to your episode thank you for your constant generosity and kindness well thank you for saying so The folks are just listening. You want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> no. No, I don't. Uh, if you enjoy this live stream and you followed Aaron's previous four live streams for the 100th anniversary of Disney, he drew 100 Disney characters. Well, we thought for Black Friday, just this once, we'd do something special and make that available as a limited edition signed and numbered print. If you go to creatureartteacher.com slash prints, P-R-I-N-T-S, you can pick that up. There's only 100 copies being made ever. And when they're gone, they they're are gone. gone for good. So they're gone. Check it out. Gone. All right. So I got that corrected, I think. Yeah, the, the movement on the... Uh, there we go. I just want to get that last little bit coming down. There. All right. So now I'm going to go through and we're going to do another pass it in betweening. Let's start at the beginning. Uh, how do you delete in between frames without the need to move everything manually? Click right there. Without the need to move everything manually. How do you delete in between frames 
without the need to move everything manually. I'm not... Like, you'd say uh, you oh. make a frame, delete it, now you've got a gap. Do you have to slide everything over one by one? Yeah, you can group everything and then slide it over. So that's that's how you have to do it. Which is actually something we brought up to them during testing, and I know they're working on it. Like, <clears throat> if you're using a, a program like TV Paint or even an editing program like uh, Premiere, you can do a ripple delete and close the gaps. And I know they're working on that, oh. so... Lost my pencil again. Pencil died, everybody. Let's go to Aaron. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let's go to the face cam and tell a little story, Aaron. Tell oh, us about yourself. Actually, I don't think I lost a pencil. For some reason, it jumped over to drawing a white oh, line. Oh, well, never mind. False alarm. Yep. A false alarm. For some reason, I must have touched the, uh, the palette for whatever reason because it just jumped over to creating a white line. And I didn't, and I'm on a white background, so I didn't realize it was doing that. I saw it on the, on the, uh, <clears throat> on the flip book that's how i noticed it alana asks aaron have you seen the cartoon elemental i'm very impressed with what they did with the fire it looked like 2d drawing yes it did i i don't know how they did it and they may have done it that way um i thought it was very cool as well i hope this is all explained in the course yes the course goes. all of this is explained in the course and more of course matter of fact what I'm doing right now is kind of a, a repeat of what we have on one of the videos in the course, except I explain it more in the course, of course. Say course again. I dare you. Say course again. Course. Course. Character Alley says, when I watched the Dream Penguin short again the other day, <clears throat> I noticed when he looks down over the cliff, the tiny penguins move just like real penguins. It's really cute. Thanks. I worked hard at that. Does dreams give you the ability to change opacity in a frame? Yes. Yes, you can. So I can do it. I can go done here and I can click on the little clacker down on the bottom and I can do a filter and unfil under filter there's opacity and I can change that opacity right there. And then also like say... <clears throat> say these were your roughs and then you were doing a cleanup layer over top you can group all the drawings and change the opacity on the whole list. yes exactly arturo garcia <laughs> said i don't like sand it's coarse and coarse and coarse mm. and it gets and it gets coarse <laughs> uh nicole uh bull on uh, YouTube asks a uh, question is is it possible to edit the audio in dreams as well yes it is it is possible uh, was Aaron participating in the elemental movie no I did not participate in that I haven't done anything for Disney uh, in about 13 years how much is Procreate Dreams? It is nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents, which it, is absolutely amazing to me. It is a one time lifetime purchase. For people that bought Procreate One back in the day for three or four dollars, they still get lifetime updates, even though it's up to Procreate Five and uh, Six is coming out soon. And Dreams is exactly the same way, same model. So here we go. We're getting this little cycle working here. Uh, Becky Lockley says uh, I, uh, on Facebook, I can't seem to see the Disney painting on sale. Is there a link? It is creatureartteacher.com slash prints, P-R-I-N-T-S. And I will also send you a direct link there, Becky. Uh, Speedman on YouTube asks, where do you recommend to find references for animals, landscapes, etc.? CreatureArtTeacher.com. No, I, I, um, I, we tend to go out and shoot our own. If, uh, if I'm not shooting my own, I have my son Dustin shooting for me. Hi. And, uh, and so that's what we do. We, we go out and shoot our own reference. We go to Africa. We go, and if you can't do that, obviously not everyone can do 
uh, travel to all the places. And I do a lot of um, documentary. I look at a lot of documentaries. I look at uh, Google Images whenever I, uh, as a last resort, I'll do that. Um, so anyway, that's that's where we find all of our all of our stuff. Uh, Raven with a knife asks, is it better to buy things online through your website or through the app? Well, whatever is more convenient for you, although I will say I prefer if you buy it through the website because uh, that way Apple doesn't take 15%. <laughs> there you go. Twitch comment, I pre-ordered the Procreate Dreams course. Yay. Well, hopefully you guys will like it. Because if you're if it's keyframe or frame by frame animation that you're interested in, like me, that's what I spend a lot of. I, I go through everything else as well, or a lot of uh, other stuff in there. But mainly my world, you know, having worked for Disney and done Disney animation for 21 years, I've been doing animation for 35 years, but 21 of those were at Disney. Um, that's my world, you know. If you want to do stuff like you know the you know, Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin and all that kind of stuff. That's where I learned all that. And it's that's the same style. Uh, are you using Pastel Seabrush right now? No. I'm using the Derwent pencil. Where do you recommend I go to find reference for animals, landscapes, etc.? Is that the one we just answered? Oh, did you answer? Did you? We answer? An, yeah, we answered one about getting a reference material for oh, animals and stuff. Sorry. Yeah, that's all right. That was I was just saying. Go to our website, creatureartteacher.com, or videos or yeah, all of our Google. artists. All of our artist photo packs are fifty percent off right now. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> we, we shoot all of our own reference material as as much as we can. But if you can't get out into the world, uh, you know, then there's other options. Is it possible to change the number of frames at any time in Procreate Dreams? Yes. As far as if you're talking about the length of a shot. Well, they're saying the frame, they followed up with, they actually mean frame rate. Let's say. Yeah, you can change the frame rate at any time too. Yeah, it maybe show how you do yeah. that. Yeah. So if I go done, I can click on the name. This is just called Dream 6. If I click on it, it gives me uh, a lot of different uh, um, options. So if I go to my stage, or properties, sorry, if I go to properties, it gives me frames per second, which I have set at 24. I can change that at any time. Duration is five seconds. It's, that's the length of the shot. And then uh, then the pixel. Um, yeah, those, so those are all editable. So if you tap on yeah. any one of those, it yeah, gives I you an input. I can change them. So you can change your dimensions. You can change all kinds of stuff. Uh, Alessandro. Alessandro. Uh, Alessandro. Um, says, hello, sir. Hello. Uh, great stream as always. Thank I'm, you. I am trying to animate a snow scene. Uh, when animating snow, do I need to keep track of the individual specs? And should I do different layers of size? Yes. So you should animate one at a time. Like one flake. One flake at a time. And yes, you should keep track. Otherwise, it'll start looking like uh, static. So animate one at a time. I would do about five or six different snowflakes uh, at different sizes. And then what you can do is you can repeat them, stagger them on the timeline, and move them around on, in, in the field. And then you can create an entire blizzard that way. But just by animating you know, five or six or even ten uh, snowflakes. And that's how I do all my snow. When I'm animating. Which we're working on our animated short film, Snow Bear. Which, yeah. If you become a member to our website, we do streams twice a week, private live streams, and you get to watch Aaron make that. Yes. And we have two memberships to choose from. We've got our annual premium membership, and we've also got a, uh, a monthly plan, which works like Netflix, where you can stop or, or cancel at any time. Yep. Works great. And both of those include access to the Snow Bear live streams. So here I have that foot coming down. I want it to slap the ground right there. Splap. Feel that blip. 
Turn off the onion skin. And feel that. A little walk. Aaron, what's your recommended DPI setting that you normally use for something like you're drawing right now? Um, well, the deep, I'm not sure what the DPI setting is at, but I don't know. I do know that it's at 4K resolution. It's probably 72 by default. Which yeah. Is, which is screen resolution. Um, when Aaron draws something like typically, like if he's doing an illustration. Yeah, he, I he usually do it at, at 300. 300 DPI. Get a water no, I got one right here. I'm good, thank you. Oh. Martin's asking, uh, can you tell us a bit of uh, what it was like working with Joaquin Phoenix? And uh, do you still have contact? No, I don't have contact with Joaquin anymore. It was, uh, you know, it's, it's a job like anything else. So you come, he comes in, does the job, and that's the last we'll ever see of him. And um, Joaquin's an interesting cat, I got to say. He's, um, uh, he's a very talented actor, obviously. He's fantastic. But um, it took a little work to get him rolling each time. He was a little hard to get, to get going. But once we got him going, then he was right into the role. But he was always he was always very self conscious, and um, hated having everyone looking at him. You know, when we're in the booth, I would I would read against him, which is kind of cool to say that I've you know I've played I play yeah I've acted with Joaquin Phoenix, but um you know because I would read the other parts in the script, uh, in the booth with him as he as he, you know, did his stuff. Aaron, can I use your animation courses and then do 2D character animation for 2D games, like video game platforms? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's the question. <laughs> yeah, that's is animation. Yeah. that is definitely the idea. Is the number of frames limited like it was in Procreate before? No. no. That's the thing. So th that's part of why they built the whole new app. So it's not limited, and this is the crazy part. The size, you can go up to 1 million by 1 million pixels. Which I don't know why anyone would ever need to go that big. But there you go. How do you rearrange the order of layers in your timeline? I couldn't find a way to do that. I was wondering if you knew. How do you rearrange the layer order? Oh, you just drag it. So let's say, let's go into a different, um, something that have multiple layers. Here we go. So here's something here. Um, I can just grab it, do a long hold, and then move it right up, and then let it go. And that's how you change your order. There you go. And if you want to undo that, two-finger tap. What's interesting about... Oh, sorry. I forgot to turn my mic back on. Thank you, Sharon. Who referred to me as the nice dude reading questions. Well, don't go too far. <laughs> um, You're the only one. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> what you do is, uh, actually, I could have been talking about you, Dustin, for all I know, but my, mine was the mic off. So. <laughs> but um, I just lost my train of thought. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. We're just going to go to an awkward silence now. Yeah, a moment of silence for. No, we were audience. talking. We were talking about changing layer layer mm -hmm. orders and. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing, with this software. Like any software, though, it's just getting familiar with the tools. You know, if you if you jump into it expecting it to behave exactly like something else you used, then you're gonna then you're going to run into some conflicts. Well, I think a lot of people yeah. also were expecting, oh, this is a software that's going to allow me to just to crank out, you know, these high quality pieces of animation. When in reality, you still have to animate. You still, it's not a magical tool. You still have to have that knowledge. And so it's one of the things that, you know, I think down the road, we're also going to put out a course using the Dreams app 
but I'm going to put out another fundamentals of animation, how to animate, but I'm going to use the Dreams app as the, as the software. Yeah, and the reason for that is, is what we're seeing, which is exactly what we expected, <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of illustrators now that have only ever used Procreate that are trying their hand for the first time at animation. And that's exactly what we expected. I think you're going to see tons of new people trying animation. Yeah. And we'll get some really cool results of that. Aaron, do you plan to include your dreams animation with your Procreate Dreams course? We can't include all of the files. No, but we might be able to do a couple of shots. Yeah. What do you think? It'll probably be a couple of shots. Only because that those files aren't our property. We were paid to do that was a, a you know, a com, it was a commission. So we don't own those you know, they, they own the copyright and everything on that. Procreate does. Uh, Twitch comment, apparently lag seems to be an issue with Procreate Dreams. Is that ringing true in your experience? No. <clears throat> no. Now, Aaron right now is using the latest iPad Pro, but when we did Dream, when we did the short. Yeah, I never had short, any lag. He was on the very first generation iPad Pro that yeah. was like, I think six years old. Yeah. And we and didn't I, have any lag. I didn't so. have any lag then either. <clears throat> Might be people trying to do incredibly large. I don't know. I mean, if you think about what this app is doing, you're instantly opening stuff. You can instantly scrub, close. It saves everything. Yeah. It also has, unlike Procreate, where if you close it and come back in, <clears throat> you can't undo. In Dreams, you can so you can close something out to your theater, open up another file, close that, go back to the original file, and you can still undo. As a result of that, the files can get large. And the way around that is if you're happy with your file, you just export it as a new dream document, and then that gets rid of all that undo history and makes it a much smaller file. Yeah. I want to let people know who are just joining us, we've got a bunch of sales going on for Black Friday over at Creature Art Teacher. Uh, today, you can pre-order Aaron's new Procreate Dreams course for just $1. If you like what he's doing today, you're going to love this course. It's even more in-depth, hours and hours of content and lessons taking you through the full course. We also just released a brand new course out today, uh, Adobe for Artists. It's basically Dave Clayton, who is a awesome graphic designer, published author, package designer. He's literally written books on the Adobe Creative Suite. He literally wrote the book on the subject. Yep, he wrote the book on InDesign. And he takes you through how to do book layout. He takes you through how to do uh, stuff in Adobe Illustrator, all sorts of cool things like how to make your own handwritten font. Um, very cool stuff. Um, <clears throat> but basically, you know, check it out. It, there are two awesome courses available at CreatureArtTeacher.com. And we've also got buy one, get one free on our memberships, which is the best value in art education. It gets you everything on the website, including those two new courses, by the way, plus everything we release over the next year. You can pick that up at CreatureArtTeacher.com. Go ahead and check it out. Check That's it out. huge. It's huge. Huge deal, folks. Biggest <laughs> deal of the whole year. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure this was answered already early, early in the stream, but, uh, any news about the lasso tool addition to, to dreams? That's going to be coming in a, in a update coming up yeah, in a future update. So here we are. Look, we got a little walk, a little, a little wobble. Kent, wow. Kent Gardner, who does our puzzles, he's Vermont puzzle who does the puzzles just texted and said $1 in your new dreams course. That's crazy. <laughs> that's blasphemy so you can see he's walking this is all on ones at 24 frames per second it's a nice little paced walk now it's a little bit too fast in a couple of spots so what i want to do is add some a uh, couple of drawings in the in the upper part of the step so right about up in here i'm going to add a couple of in-betweens You just got to click on that frame that you 
that's leading up to the in-between and click on the plus sign and you will be able to add a drawing which is what I'm doing right now Right now, this entire shot is on ones. That means each drawing is held for one frame. And that is the hopeful plan, Kim. Kim is uh, asking, is the Dreams class uh, releasing Monday? And uh, We're hoping, but it, it might be as late as Friday. I put Friday on the website to give us wiggle room, but we're going to release videos, I think, as they're ready. Definitely by next week. We're cracking the whip on Dustin. Actually, Dustin really stepped up to the plate and been awesome working over the weekend. We were we had a 10-hour shoot day the other day. Yeah. We really want to get this out to everybody. And the only reason we didn't have it done already is that Procreate asked us to not get it done because their interface, I mean, these, these guys, they are busting their butt and they are working to get as much as they can in by the release date that they can and so a lot of times like the the interfaces uh the user interface is changing and things like that so we wanted to wait till the very last minute so that everything was basically the same uh this might be a repeat question but is there a way to add frame holds in dreams <clears throat> yes you just drag the length uh, you just go onto the timeline and you drag your drawing for as long mm -hmm. as you want it to hold yeah, when we get into, once Aaron's done with his drawing phase, I'm sure he'll show adjusting the timing and we can show some of the, some of that. So I just got this drawing plus two more. We should be in a good spot. Is it hard to color the animation? I was just about to ask that. <laughs> well, it depends. If you are really good at inking your lines uh, and close off all the lines, you can actually drop and fill. You just drag from the little circle of color up to the right, and you drag it to wherever you want it want it to fill. Maybe we'll show that a little later. Too. Yeah, but I tend to be a little rougher with my lines, so I create a new timeline underneath the drawing layer, and we just paint, just like I'm coloring in, like the old days in ink and painters. Uh, hey Nick, did you already ask the um, question about the uh, adding frame holds? Yes. Yes. Okay. And someone asked a related question about <clears throat> the coloring. We'll show that in a little bit. It It's on a separate track. It's not the same as TV paint where you've got the color layer that's linked. No, it's not. That's, it's very, it's, yeah. <clears throat> it's much more like traditional cell coloring. Yep. Um, is a good way to think of it. But like I said, if you can get it nice and cleanly, all your drawings closed off, then you can just drop and fill. Now, the only problem with that is it's then all on one. It's all on the same layer as the drawing. Yeah, so you don't have the option to go back. But you do have the ability to copy a layer. Yeah, you could. So you could copy your drawing layer. And then do the... And then do it, yeah. That makes sense. Is Procreate Dreams free? No, it's $19.99. Nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. One time purchase. Might as well be free. That's pretty no darn cheap. All right, so there's a nice little slowdown right there that I like, and I want to get him on the top one. I right will there. say, Aaron does recommend if you show your hand to the camera, that you recommend using a glove. Oh, the glove, yeah, always, because I I learned the hard way when I wasn't using a glove, I was making extra marks all over the place. And uh, and they're a little funny to get used to, but after a day or two of using it, yeah, I don't even, kind of I, like it, right? I, yeah, I don't even notice it anymore. Yeah. And it really is nice not having the extra little marks all over the place. That's a that's an iPad issue. Can you set a layer as a reference, like layer one, and then color drop into layer two? No, you cannot. Not as of now. That's what we were talking about. That would be a really cool option, though. Recommendations for settings not to drain the space on the iPad. <clears throat> this is Kim asking this. Uh, what you're going to want to do, Kim, is when you're done with your scene, 
export it as a new dream file and that'll get rid of all that undo history that takes up tons of space and it'll shrink the size dramatically so the reason the very files, dramatically the reason like... the files in dreams get large is because it has infinite undo you can also adjust the undo in the settings how many steps it's undo does believe but by default i think it's infinite um or it's something crazy high <laughs> so when you're done just export your dream file as a new dreams file and then you can delete the original one and i mean when i say crazy small we were seeing stuff where we might have we a file like that was like a couple three gigs and it would drop down to like 100. 200 megs yeah exactly all right so we're getting to our last drawing here we're going to have a little walk cycle a little walk cycle see Making a walk, walk, walk cycle there, Shane. <laughs> I knew you could resist. Do you use a paper screen protector to make it better to draw on? No, you know, Nick bought me one and I haven't put it on yet. <laughs> what a waste of money. <laughs> well, no, maybe we'll do an unboxing of that. Actually, that's a great idea because I keep hearing great things about it. Oh, the screen protector? It's a new special one that came out. It's, it also has a ballpoint. It's called a rock. It's yeah, it's made to feel paper, like paper. Rock paper draw or something. Yeah. Called, and, it's, and it actually also has a ballpoint roller for the Apple Pen. Pencil. Yeah. Can you export video with a transparent background? That I don't know. Not. Does it have an alpha option? I don't know that it does. That's a good question. I do know they're working, if it's not already in there already, on PNG export. Yes. Uh, GIF export, <clears throat> all that stuff. GIF export we actually had in one of the early builds, but they took it out while they were working on some, some, something else because they wanted to perfect it. Yeah. It needs to be perfect. All right, so now when we play, you can see I had that the just that little bit of added uh, oh, time at the top. Someone's saying yes, you can export transparent movies. Yeah, I just saw oh, that. Oh, good. Good to know. So here's our little walk back and forth. The the uh, the hands are the the fins are a little too snappy for my tastes edwin rodriguez says everything you do is amazing <laughs> thank you i think what i want to do here is reverse i'm going to take a couple of drawings here because i don't want to change the timing so what i'm going to do is change the the way the fins his little wings overlap and, uh, they're a Kim... little too snappy for me. Sorry, Dustin, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry, I cut you off. Um, so polite. Kim asks, uh, any recommendations for settings to not drain space on the iPad? Oh, that's I, one. We adjust that one earlier. Nick just covered that one. We oh, just covered that one. Yep. Stay out of my territory! <laughs> uh, have you animated humans? I've animated lots of humans. Lots and lots of humans. Do you notify members when you live stream on Snowbear? <clears throat> We're actually working on doing notifications in the app and bringing the streams to the app, <clears throat> but it's the same schedule. So yeah, I always got the same schedule. Every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. There we go. That's a little better. So there's our little walk with our little penguin, which is kind of cool. Now we could go in and paint it. Um, might take a little while, but one thing I'd like to do, how far into it? We're about an hour and a half in. Mm -hmm. Let's, um, should we paint them? Yeah. Let, uh, if you're going to paint him, do a little demo and show the drop fill, just not on him, but to show how that works and then go into. Yeah. So I'm going to have to create another layer underneath to do the painting. Um, but if he was cleaned, if he was closed off, um, I could come in here and, uh, let's say, let's 
make a circle, close that off. I could come in here. I want to grab that blue color. I'm going to make him a blue penguin, maybe a little darker and hit OK. And now literally all I do is grab it here and drag it right there and fill it. That's a really cool, you know, that's the same thing you can do in Procreate. And by the way, that's speed dependent because for a while we were holding it and it wasn't working. Yeah, kind of go. Quick. You got to You got to do it quickly. Now that worked because that circle is was closed off. You can see if I try to if I try to drag it over here, because I have so many open lines in that drawing, it spills out. So as a result, we have to come in and we've got to uh, paint it manually. So to do the painting, first of all, I'm done there. Um, I like to, let's go back and I'm going to create a new layer, a new content track. Notice how it's on top. So all I have to do is grab it and move it down. And now I've got it underneath. That's great. And so then the next thing I want to do is click on my drawing layer again. We're going to go back into flipbook mode. I want to change my brush. I want to go from sketching to inking. And I like that syrup brush for, for coloring. It just has a nice feel for me. And we're going to come in and I'm going to push the size right here. And you don't have to, I don't have to worry about on the, the interior of him right now because we're going to change the, uh, what I can do is this, watch. If I just do it quick like this. I know what you're going to do. Yes. Just... Now we can go and fill that. So it's going to leave a little bit of a, a, a holding line there, but that's all right. The syrup brush is. Uh, I'm going to turn off the uh, onion skin. The project. Yes, it is. I love syrup. Have you ever animated any humans? Yes, Dustin just asked that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason I was going to do that is the next question was, do you ever accidentally repeat questions? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> is that a mockingbird? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I've done lots of humans. Yao from, from Mulan and the great ancestors, which were ghosts. But Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Did you animate any of Jessica Rabbit or just Roger? Uh, I did very little. I did a tiny little bit of Jessica. And does she count as a human? I mean, technically yeah. she is. But... Lights Camera Cheetahs uh, asks, Aaron, do you remember your first animation for a movie? Yes. Well, it was uh, for a production. It was animation of Roger Rabbit for an animated short that we were doing. And that was uh, Roller Coaster Rabbit. And it was him looking at camera, kind of perplexed, with uh, holding baby Herman. Casra asks, since you wanted to do Kerchick and Tarzan, have you ever had a chance to animate any gorillas? You know what? My intern, when I was an intern, my uh, I had to come up with a character to do a walk cycle with. And my character was a gorilla. It was very badly drawn, very badly designed. But that's what it was. And uh, that's and I did like a four-legged walk cycle with his arms. He was walking with his arms and his, and his back legs. And Glenn Keane kind of guided me through it. Uh, I've been checking out drawing clear expressions course, but I also have the gesture drawing and the human anatomy courses. Is there any particular order you would recommend watching these three in? So what are the three again? Um, clear expressions course, uh, gesture drawing and human anatomy. I would do, I would do human anatomy first. Yep. First, okay. then gestures, then clear expressions. I want to let you know that the human anatomy course is only $5 as part of our Black Friday sale. That's like 80 or 90% off, I believe. $5, make you holla. Holla. So this isn't too bad doing it this way. 
takes a little bit of time, but we're going to go through here. I just want you to get a sense of how how quickly we can and you know we can create some you know some somewhat entertaining animation. Also, for people just joining us, we've got a bunch of sales going on for Black Friday. We've got two new courses out, one for pre-order, one out now. Dave Clayton's Adobe uh, Suite for Artists. He covers Illustrator, Photoshop, and InDesign, which is something a lot of people have been asking us for, how to do book layout, how to do all kinds of stuff. And then also Aaron's course on Procreate Dreams comes out next week. And for Black Friday, you can pre-order that for $1. One dollar for less than the price of a cup of coffee. Yes, unless you get like a forty-nine cent cup of coffee, in which case I want to know where you're shopping. <laughs> I don't want to drink it. All right. I, Brock says I loved those Roger Rabbit shorts so much. I used to rent the VHS over and over. I was just a kid <laughs> back then and had no idea who you were. What oh, thank you. To know you now. So cool. Thank you. Because a lot of people don't know those shorts. Yeah, they did put them out eventually on their own VHS tape. I had. They that, did. So. Yeah. <laughs> they put tummy trouble in there and. I actually watched a thing the other day. Obviously, you started, You were in the early phases of working on the, the unfinished one here in my suit. <clears throat> but uh, they, it actually said that there were actually <clears throat> 10 shorts in various stages of development. Yeah. I didn't realize there was that many. Yeah, there is a bunch. We had another one with uh, Roger at the Opera, which was kind of fun. We actually went to the Opera to do research. Hair in my soup was really getting a lot of traction. Well, that one was like starting to, starting to go into production, right? It was. I was working on that when I met Robin Williams. All right. We're getting there, folks. We're Wait, getting man. there. Yeah, if you've got an iPad and you're interested in animation, I really recommend this this app. And I I firmly believe I've I've, I've been quoted on this many times, but I firmly believe it. You can make a full feature with this app. I've actually had a, a, a film company call me to confirm that I said that. I said, yeah, you know, it, you're going to have to find a nice, you need a nice filing system on how to main, you know, how to track everything. But as far as making the shots, you can do it in this app. Getting a little outside the lines here. Normally, I tell everybody, don't worry about coloring inside the lines. But in animation, you got to stay inside the lines. Uh, what downloads will we get if we pay for the lifetime downloads for the Procreate Dreams course? The videos. You get to download them and keep them. Otherwise, they're streaming. You get lifetime streaming access. But if you want to download them and keep them in your local library. It's just an extra five bucks. Extra five dollars. Uh, do you have any friends who worked with um, uh, Don Bluth on any of his films? Oh, yeah. 
I've got a lot of friends. John Pomeroy. Yeah, John Pomeroy, who co co founded uh, Bluth. Mm. Yes, very many friends. But it's still working off of 11% charge. That's pretty good. Taking my time, trying to stay somewhat neat. Uh, would you recommend this iPad stand compared to the Sketchboard Pro? I don't know the Sketchboard Pro, so um, this is all I've had. And I like this. It's super adjustable. and I think they're very similar based on what I've looked I, at. Yeah, I, I, they look almost identical, just different wood as far as I'm concerned. But um, the this, this stand... The uh, the supports are plastic. I think the other one is wood. So that might be a factor. Um, the movie Brave, is that considered a Pixar or Disney? Pixar. Julie says, that was supposed to be decorating my house for Christmas, but here I am. Priorities. That's right, baby. <laughs> Dang straight. And there we are. We just got to the end of the timeline. So now you can see we've got, oh, I forgot to color in his other fin. Look at that. Right off the bat, I can see my mistakes. Let's go back. There's one fin. Whoops. Let's start going back to the beginning. Also want to let people know that we have a limited edition print available for Black Friday. <clears throat> if you um, saw Aaron's previous live streams where he drew 100 Disney characters, took them about a month to do it, did them live based on request. You can get that print available now for a limited time if you go to creatureartteacher.com slash prints, P-R-I-N-T-S. And I also put a link in the comments. So let's go ahead and uh, I want to create a background layer. So because someone was asking about holding a, a, a timeline or holding a frame for a certain amount. So I want to go ahead and create a new uh, contact content track. And I'm going to, once again, I'm going to drag it. I'm going to hold and then drag it underneath our drawing layers. And I'm going to go ahead and go into drawing mode. And let's do some dark blue. And I want to go back into my sketching, the Derwent pencil. And that feels good. So now I'm going to go into Flipbook. And I just want to create a little just a little background back here. Seagull faces says, Oh my god, you're live. <laughs> I am live. I think I think the person uh, lost track of time. <laughs> So what I want to do is I'm just going to fill this in. Uh, I want to grab some nice icy kind of blue. Just like that. And let's go ahead and just drag that down into there. And it and it uh, it leaked somewhere. I guess my the line I used isn't solid enough. So let's redo that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and paint it in. Nicole Bullen asks, is the color dropper tool in dreams? Is what the color dropper like the uh, pick? If you press and hold to pick a color, yes. Oh yeah. Uh, 
Um, and uh, Rada Bankova asks, which iPad is best for animations and illustrations? I like the Pro. I mean, that's what I'm using right now. It's the biggest screen. So, it frankly, is. we wish the biggest thing that's going to be holding Dreams back from being adopted super wide in the industry is the side of, size of the iPad. Yeah. I would definitely recommend the bigger screen you can get the better. So we're going to come up on two hours here. So I, I think I'm just going to leave his body. Sure. But I'm just going to have him walk across the top of this frame. So I'm going to show everybody how we can group, how we can resize, and how we can uh, copy and paste a cycle all the way across the timeline. So let's go back. We've got everything done that I like. Matter of fact, let's hit it with four fingers. And I'm going to go ahead and hit it with one finger, which gives me the playhead. And we can just play that out. Now, you're going to see that the 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 blue frame that I just created goes by in one frame. And it doesn't loop right here. I can set it to loop, but right now it's not set to loop. So let's go back to the timeline. And I can compress everything down. And we can see that this is set for a little over five seconds. So what I want to do here is I'm going to come down to our, our background, which set underneath everything. And I can grab the edge of it and stretch it out just like so. Grab it and stretch it out. Now I want to go to the length of the shot. So there we go. I've got it right to the length of the shot. And the next thing I want to do is I've got my penguin layer um, or my penguin layers. I've got two layers there. I want to get them all grouped together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this right here, my edit tool, and I can run a line right through all of them just like that. Do a long hold and I'll go group. So now those are all held into one group. Now, if I want to go in and work on them individually, I can still open that up and there's my drawings all set right there. So there are, what's nice about having the group is I can manipulate everything all at the same time. <clears throat> so I'm going to come out of the edit mode, come back here, come highlight our group. And the first thing I want to do is I want to copy and paste it because I want it to last the length of the shot here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit copy right here by doing a long hold. I'm going to jump outside and hold out here. Whoops. Hold out here and hit paste. There. I'm going to hold out here. Paste. Hold out here. Paste. Oh, I'm going to slide it over. I, was, I missed it by one frame. Hold out here and paste. Oh, did it again. There we go. I'm just going to work my way down the timeline. Paste. Someone says there's a frame missing arm color. I don't know if that's true. Oh, okay. That's all right. I'll, I'll fix that another time. So now I've got it playing for the duration of the shot. Okay. Yeah, there's one there. That's all right. So we just got one missing. So that's the duration of our shot. Now I want to have him walk through the frame without having to animate him walking through the frame. And this is really cool. This is, this uh, they have what's called a, a performance mode. So what I want to do in here is I'm going to group these again. So I'm going to run a line through all of them and we're going to long hold and group. So now everything is grouped together, okay? So the first thing I want to do is out of there come out of the performance mode and i want to resize it i want to make them a little bit smaller whoops there we go make them a little bit smaller and let's move him off frame i want him to walk through the shot so i'm going to start right there so now all i have to do i'm going to click to the beginning all i have to do is click on this little uh, it's it's the what's it called again the performance it's the performance mode right oh, yeah yeah so it, and you'll see it, it lights up as a gray or as a, um, a red square and it's not going to do anything until I touch and start moving my character around and so what I want to do is just have him walk across the shot now, when I play it back, 
you can see I've moved him across the shot. Now, I didn't do it perfect, so I want to go back and I want to do it again. So I'll hit stop, two fingers, brings him back, go back to the beginning. I'm going to move this over just a little. Oh, I forgot to turn that off. There we go. Two finger tap, gets rid of everything. I want to get him placed right in the right spot. Right about there. I'm going to go ahead and hit record. And here we go. There. So go ahead and hit play. Now I've got a little penguin walking across the screen. He slides a little bit in the beginning, but there you go. So that's one way that you can do something moving across. You can do this with birds flying. It's really fun. You can do it with a single frame. If you stretch out that frame for the duration of the, um, the timeline, then you can have like a, let's say you have a fish that you want to move through and you can do that. But if you have a cycle like this, a walk cycle or a bird flying or something, you can, you can kind of cheat it by moving them across the screen with this really cool uh, record mode or performance mode. Uh, then when you're done with it, you turn it off and you're all set. Uh, got time for a couple questions? Sure. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> um... When building a professional digital portfolio, do you recommend uh, study? Hold on, just went away. Uh, more studies and realism, or finding out what a particular studio likes and catering to that? Okay, say it one more time. Do you recommend a portfolio that focuses just on studies and realism, or do you basically recommend finding out a studio style and catering to that? Well, it, it's it's yes and yes. So you should be academic in your studies and have a portfolio for that. But if you're, you know, putting together a portfolio to go work for, say, The Simpsons, they're gonna want you're gonna want to have your your work that's catered towards The Simpsons or The Family Guy or whatever studio you might be working with or Marvel. Um, so you know, you always have to cater to whoever, whoever you are trying to get work with. I used to teach portfolio class, and the answer is there's not just one portfolio. You exactly. Might have several portfolios all geared towards different types of skill sets. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, we'll take one or two more questions and then we'll wrap it up. Is there any way, and I think the answer to this is no, but is there any way to extend all the frames the same duration? Like if you wanted to put everything on twos, could you do it as a group? You can't do that, yet, right? Uh, no, you can't. They said they're working. But you can, that. you can adjust timings on, on let me. Do you want to show how to do yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, someone's so, actually asking if um, you can show again how to extend the duration of the drawings for two or three frames. Yeah, so we, the way we can do that, let me stop here. Let's go into uh, the groups. So I'm just going to jump to the beginning. I'm going to open this up. Let's go into that group. And then here we've got more groups. I'm going to go into that group. So here's our individual drawings, right? Well, let's say I want to extend, you know, some random drawings in here and make them... Uh, uh, give them more frames. Let's say this one here. We've got all these frames that are up against it. If I just grab hold of that side, I can't do it. I, it, it won't move unless I grab hold of that at side and then put a finger down and then I can move it all I want. See that? So I can extend it any number of frames that I want and then I can do it on the next one. So it's a two finger issue and you can pull it back too by holding the frame down. It, it basically, it, it allows you, it frees the frames up, but then it sticks them together. So they'll move up and down the timeline. Can you show that one more time? Because I was on the screen. I, I, your fingers were there, but they were small. I just yes. To so so once, once again, if I try to move, extend this, I can't because I've got all these other frames. But if I grab hold of that edge and put my finger down, then I can move, I can extend that frame as much as I want. So you can adjust timing. Let's say I want to go to... And you have to you have to highlight the edge first, then put your finger down. So I can grab any frame and do that, or two fingers, I can bring it back to the way it was. Just cool. like so. Thank you. Yep. Uh, let's see. Hit some other questions here. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, this is another thing. You'll notice right now I've got this blown up. When I play, it's only playing what's on the window. So let's say I want it, I want it to uh, let's pinch it just a little bit. Once again, it's only playing what's in the window. 
Now, if I do a quick pinch, now it shows the entire shot. Like a quick pinch out. Yeah, quick pinch out. You can also flick from anywhere. Say you were zoomed in at the end of the frame, you can flick the playhead back towards the, the left and it'll start playing the whole animation. Exactly. And also, if I'm on, let's say I'm on this drawing right here, we'll, we'll go to the background. I go into drawing mode and then we'll go into uh, um, flipbook. If you want to get back to your timeline, you can either hit done, which is what I was doing up in the upper right, or you can just flick your, your flipbook and it brings you back. So there's a lot, a lot of nice little shortcuts. And we've got all that, all of that, everything I covered today, plus a lot more is covered in our How to Animate and Procreate Dreams, or How to Use Procreate Dreams, which is coming out hopefully next week, uh, Friday, if Definitely not sooner. Definitely coming out next week. It's just a matter of whether it's before Friday or not. Yes, exactly. And... Um, and I'll be definitely begin trying and, to get as much done of it over the weekend as possible. Hopefully yes, the whole time. and you can pre-order that right now at creatureartteacher.com. A for bunch of people are <clears throat> for one dollar. For one dollar, and a bunch of people are taking advantage of that already. This weekend is also your last chance to get our character design course for only one dollar. You can get that at creatureartteacher.com/learn. You've got all the way through Cyber Monday on that price goes up on Tuesday. This is your last call for that. We've got a limited edition print. Uh, there's only 100 of these made. Go to creatureartteacher.com slash prints, and you can pick that up. I was like, yeah, I was hearing sound. I read you're playing. Uh, yeah, sorry. I, I thought I turned it off, but I no, turned off fine. the group. But um, if you uh, head to creatureartteacher.com slash prints, you can pick that up. Uh, we've got a limited edition puzzle. There's only 50 made of the same image. You can get that at creatureartteacher.com slash puzzles. And the big deal is... Buy one, get one on memberships is back uh, for a limited time. If you buy one for yourself, you can give one to a friend. And it is the best value in art education. Our, uh, our membership retention rate is insane. So people stick around once they become members. So thank you so much. It's a love affair. Yeah, you know, our frame rate is really dropping all of a sudden. Oh, maybe it's because I'm playing this. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, it's... just shot back up. We had a little hiccup. Oh, so. good. All right. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you guys got a little shot in the arm to go out and try this new software. I think it's a game changer. I really love it. You can see how easy it is to get something animated. Let's go back to where we were. Yeah, a friend of mine got uh, the Procreate Dreams the other day, and she just got the uh, pre-order for the $1 sale, and uh, she's really excited. Chain, oh, good. Chainsaw Bunny asks, is that $1 course for everyone or just the USA? That's everyone. That's everywhere, everybody. Everywhere in the world. Everywhere in the world. How do we even make money? I don't know how we do it. Well, volume. That's, that's, <laughs> how do we do it? Volume. Yes. Volume. I don't, I'm tired of these overpriced colleges and, and online courses, which I think some of them are overpriced. There's no reason why we can't cater to a, a lot of people. And so that's our goal here at Creature Art Teacher. Quality and quantity. Yep. We do it all. You can have them both. So I hope you guys enjoyed today. I hope you learned a little bit. And keep in mind, we're going to have that course coming out next week on how to use Dreams. And we'll be doing some animation in the future. I'm going to be doing some animation classes, live classes, uh, using uh, Procreate Dreams. And they, some of them might be extended classes that might go several months where I actually make a short film and you guys are right there with me through the entire thing. So that's something we're try to, trying to organize as we speak. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, be safe. Go on out there. Try this app. Put some beauty back into the world. And I'll talk to you next time. We'll talk Cowboy to you next time, everybody. And in addition to all those other sales I mentioned, remember, everything on the website is 50% off or more this weekend. A lot of it is up to 90% off. So have a great weekend. We hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. We're certainly thankful for you. And we will see you next time.